Hi everyone, so let's get started with today's video. So today I will be comparing total three Udemy courses. First one is from Angela Yu, second one is from Call to Steel and third one is from Andrew Nagawi. So I will be comparing all the three courses today. So I have the sheet with me and now let us start with all the section and quick summary of all the points. So let me start first with the content section. So uh, how many hours each in instructor is covering in the their course? Okay. So Angela use course content is around 65 hours. Colt Steel's course content is around 64 hours. And Android Nagai course content is around 38 hours. Other section is the front end. So covering the front end section, first I want to tell you there is some basics in the HTML and CSS and I am not talking about much about them because uh, th these things are pretty basics and we can cover them by YouTube also. Okay, so I am uh, talking about the framework. So Angela, you covered React JS in the course. <coughs> Sorry, Colt Steel did not cover any front-end framework in the course and Andrew Nagai also covered React in the course. Okay, other point is JS. JavaScript. So now I am comparing the JavaScript in all the three courses. So when I learned the JavaScript from uh, the courses, so I found that the JavaScript in the Angela use course is pretty average and uh, not so good and did not cover in depth topics. In the call to steel course, JavaScript is better than Angela use course. And also in the Andrew Nagoy course, the JavaScript section is better than Angela use course and covers uh, in-depth topics than her okay but one suggestion from my side what you can do is you can use external resources to learn javascript if you are following any of these courses because the major thing is when you are going for a web development job or you want to become a web developer then javascript is a uh, is kind of technology is kind of language you uh, that you should know in very very detailed manner because uh, all the companies uh, uh, whichever companies are taking interviews or you are going to a startup then they will require you a good knowledge of javascript in the development side also from the basic concepts and if you want to crack interview for product based company then you should have good knowledge of data structures and algorithms with javascript now the next section is project so in the project section uh, all three instructors have covered some basic projects some small projects which you can do and they give you pretty good understanding of the concepts as well as you will be handy with the with some small and good projects uh, which you can also mention in your resume but my suggestion would be make a good project on your own different from these projects because the things are noticeable like if you are copying a project or you are making a same projects the re recruiter already know which projects are in current demand uh, free, uh, uh, which project basically are coping so much so do not do like this way so create something different on your own while following the course now i will talk about the back end part so in the back end part uh, uh, and the database part actually all the instructors covered uh, no sql thing okay so no sql so while talking about the no sql mongodb part so i will also suggest you to take a external uh, external resource to learn no sql like you can use some documentation or you can use a different youtube playlist to learn no sql and mongodb because the thing is uh, databases is something not, uh, like something not which you can learn in one hour or two hours you have to give some like uh, you have to give a dedicated time to it if i start talking about the databases then you should have first good knowledge about dbms then i think you should go ahead with a language which is uh, maintaining a relation of the database like sql or uh, then uh, or otherwise you can use mongodb or anything you want to use but the pretty basic understanding of dbms should be there in your mind because er diagrams how the tables are working what is the concept of the keys these things are really really basics and you should have a good idea about them then you can go ahead with any database and i would suggest you to first learn database whole then go ahead with the databases then you would have a better interesting understanding of all these things now uh, i will talk about the updated section so which course is basically more updated yeah so angela use course is least updated course and uh, you can find some difficulties around it like if she is using a 
2018 website then the uh, th this can be a situation where the website is changed and you are finding some difficulties around the code but the thing is if you are following the lectures then you can implement the same example in other website right so the thing is of understanding but some students complain about it the course is lacking in the updation right so angela u's course is least updated cold steel's course is more updated than angela u and angry course is updated right uh, like good updated and you uh, will not find you will not find much difficulties in it right now i will talk about the teaching so personally i like angela u as teacher i will give her first ranking then i will give second ranking to colt and third ranking to andry from uh, this is from my personal opinion right uh, actually i have udemy business access and i have access of all the courses of udemy so uh, <laughs> for creating the videos or uh, to learn something i can learn anything because i have the access of all the udemy courses right now i will cover about uh, security so security is a very important point and here andrew lakes in the course because in the andrew nagai course some major topics are missing like security templation and uh, like like there are so many topics which is missing uh, in andrew's course right so in the security section angela you covers uh, the section in the detailed manner and i can say it's the Uh, uh it is the best course if you talk about the security section then the second number is of course cold steel so cold steel also covered this section but pretty basic angela you covered this section at the best manner now i will talk about uh okay so these all the things are covered okay so now i will talk about total number of topics covered in the course so angela use course covered a lot of topics and have different technologies in it also some projects are good and uh, use different technologies and some something like uh, different in the cold steel steel course it is little bit less than angela use course and entry nagai course lacks in this because it has only important topics and did not cover anything additional okay so if you compare all these uh, three three courses then uh, i'll suggest you one thing you can go with any of them like i have compared a basic comparison between um, these three courses but you can go any of them you can go with any of them but keep one thing in the mind you have to follow some external resources while covering these course like if you are uh, following the angela use course then what you have to do you can do javascript from some uh, external website or external youtube playlist or uh, you can cover um, like something which uh, which you will, uh, you uh, you are finding something uh, outdated kind of thing that you can cover from some external resources you cannot only dependent on word course like i have spent 400 rupees in this course so i want all the things from this course only but you have to keep one thing in your mind you have to be open minded while learning the web development because i work as a web developer and i know that learning web development um, contains a lot of googling a lot of research so you have to do uh, like something on your own also you cannot depend fully on one course so this is the basic thing if you are following the cold course then i would suggest you to take a uh, a external react course or angular course from uh, uh, from udemy or you can follow any youtube playlist but that you have to cover because in this time if you want to become a proper web developer then it is a kind of mandatory that you should have a good front end framework knowledge otherwise you will lack in the like when I, i i when i talk about routings when i talk about templatings when i uh, talk about like architecting the whole code then you will be lacking behind of it in all the terms so you should have good uh, knowledge of at least one front end framework uh, it can be react angular and other framework also whatever you want to follow in android course the course content is little bit less so if you want to follow the course i would suggest to follow some more things which you can uh, like you can see the topics from angela and cold course and you can follow them from any external resources if you are following andrew nagai course and other thing also like uh, if you are following andrew's course then one more thing that must cover the security section because it is a important part 
of development okay so must cover this so this is uh, all about the courses and i think i have compared major of the points so i hope you like this video and if you liked it make sure you like the video and if you are following any of the courses you can put your opinions in the comment section your comments are welcome thank you so much for watching this video